C is a great language because of its portability, efficiency, and simplicity. While these advantages provide programmers with a lot of control and ease of use, they do come at a small cost. Sometimes, C can be too simple and requires a lot of work from its programmers. Many modern languages were invented specifically to solve this issue by handling memory management for the user, but C will always be used by many people who require the portability and control over their memory management, which can only be achieved by lower level languages such as C or even assembly. For anyone who decides to use C because of its efficiency, lightweight executables, and its portability, chances are you're probably going to deal with strings at some point. C has very good support for strings. In fact, its standard library includes many functions for handling strings, such as strlen, which gets the length of a string, or printf, which is used to format strings with various other data types. One major limitation for strings of C is the inability to easily add, remove, or replace parts of one. C has no built-in way to do these things because of its inherent simplicity and its requirement for manual memory management. Strings in C are made up of rows of bytes, which are usually ASCII, and end with a null byte, or an ASCII value of 0, which is not to be confused with the ASCII character 0, which has a value of 48. These rows of bytes are very efficient because they are always sequential in memory, but a C program cannot just keep adding characters to a row of bytes and then moving the null term in order to add characters to a string, because the new bytes might be part of invalid memory or belong to another part of the program which can cause undefined behavior. Whenever a string is created in C, the program asks the operating system for control over a specific amount of memory in order to store the string. If a string contains 8 characters, the program will allocate at least 9 bytes of memory, 8 of which will be used to store the characters of the string, and the last one will be used to store the null term, which is used to mark the end of the string so the program doesn't keep reading past the end of the string and into invalid memory. If you want to increase the length of a string in C, you either need to allocate more memory ahead of time, which is not a good option if you don't know how much you're going to add to the string, or you can allocate a larger amount of memory elsewhere in order to store the current string along with the extra characters you want to add to it. Once you've done this, you need to give the memory used to store the old string back to the operating system because you are no longer using it. If you do not return your unused memory back to the OS, which is also known as freeing the memory, you will likely cause a memory leak, which may crash your program or prevent other programs from having access to any more memory because your program has allocated too much of it, and it's not even using any of it. That's just adding to a string. What if you want to insert characters into the middle of a string? What if you want to remove characters from the beginning, middle, or end of a string? It's a lot of work for a programmer to continually write code that appropriately allocates and frees memory whenever they want to modify a string, so the best solution is to write a library to solve these issues. I began writing my own string library in C by creating a data structure that keeps track of the length of a string, the amount of memory it's allocated, and a pointer to the allocated memory that stores the string. The first function I wrote for my library creates the structure that represents a string, its length, and the amount of memory it owns. The user can pass in their own string, and it will allocate the appropriate amount of memory to store it, and then it will copy it to its new memory location. The second function I wrote returns the memory address of the string to the user so they can print it or read data from it. Most of the other functions I wrote modified the string. I created an add function which adds characters to the string and reallocates memory when needed, freeing the old memory. I also created an insert function, which can insert a set of characters in any part of a string, and it moves, copies, and reallocates memory where it is appropriate. The most complicated function I wrote replaces any given part of a string with a new set of characters, which may be longer or shorter than the part of the string it's replacing. The most simple function in this library removes any given part of a string, and because it does not ever increase the length of a string, it never has to allocate or free memory. There are still many improvements that can be made in order to increase the usability, readability, and overall convenience of using this library, which I will discuss in my next video, but for now, this string library will do.